Hello, my name is Faisal Khan. I hope you're doing well and staying safe. A, a comment is made in almost invariably every pitch deck that I have seen or business plan that I have seen that involves money transfer. And that is the 7.4% that World Bank says is the cost of sending money, the 7.4%, the 7.x%, the 7.6%, the 7.5%. For crying out loud, the number is not 7.4%. And by the way, FYI, the World Bank data is skewed. It has quite a few errors. Those that have been studying the data for a long, long time can tell you about it. But let me tell you why the 7.4% uh, number is a misnomer, if you will. Let's take an example. And before I give you the example, I want to tell you that this number is what it's called a non-weighted, a non-weighted number. Non, not weighted, weighted. It's a non-weighted number. And I'll tell you why it says a non-weighted number. Let's say, uh, you, you take an example. US to India, uh, $10 billion uh, of remittances go every year and the average rate is 2%. So, right, so we have one country, US, one country, India, $10 billion rate is 2%. Then we have uh, USA to uh, Ghana, and you know a hundred million dollars goes through and the rate is 20 percent so that's a 20 percent rate it's very high rate now if you look at the two countries india has 10 billion dollars ghana has only 100 so there's a huge differential between the two one is two percent and the other is 20 percent now if you take the average of the both you take two countries the rate two percent plus 20%, 2 plus 20 is 22, divided by the number of countries, 2, and the rate you get is 11%. Now, that's not the reality. The reality is that the, the average is not 11%. The unweighted average is not is 11%. The weighted average is certainly not 11%. Because if that's the case, it would give you a very skewed view that somehow there's a lot of money to be made between the US and India corridor because the World Bank average is 11%. And that is where a lot of the problems arise because a lot of people, a lot of the people go into the business and only to find out that it's a very, very competitive market. The US, the, the, by the way, the US India market is less than a percent uh, in case you're trying to know, uh, if, if you want to know. So it is not a weighted number. The weighted number needs to then take uh, into account the actual amount being transacted and then the weighted average will come out. So the World Bank average, the 7.4 or the 7.6 or the 7.8, whatever they keep touting out, is a non-weighted number. You need to find out the weighted average and do your research for the specific corridors that you want to get into. I have seen a lot many people waste so many months, precious months, going into their business plan, making all these you know, uh, 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 charts and going out on the investment rounds and on the circuit and getting turned down again and again and not understanding why. It's because their basic premise, their basic understanding that it takes seven and some percent to move money around the world because World Bank says so is flawed. No disrespect to World Bank. World Bank is doing a fantastic job putting the money out, but that number is misused, not by the World Bank, by the people who read the number. They don't read the details enough as to how the data was compiled and how it should be used. And because of that, a lot of business plans go all the way down, thumbs down, you know. So anyways, I hope that gives you some form of semblance when, you know, the likes of Ripple, Stellar and everyone else who keep, keeps coming out and keeps you know, touting that number, it's 7.4%. It's not 7.4%. So let's get that straight. If, if a new, uh, you know, uh, newer reach or how do you say, neo uh, money banking and payments companies come out and they also say the same thing, that number is incorrect. The, the market is indeed very, very competitive. There are pockets where there's a lot of money being charged, etc. But the bulk of the money that moves in the world is between one half a percent, one percent, one and a half to two and a half percent, not more than that. So I hope I was able to shed some light on that. If you have a question or a comment on this video, please put it in the comment section below. If you have a business inquiry, there's a contact form in the description below as well as a WhatsApp. Till next time, stay safe. Faisal Khan, signing out.